All right, finish the thought. Look at that cool foot soldier in his neat little pose there. I should probably unpause, huh? Probably. Okay. Well, I can't. Oh, there are three of them. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, John. Careful with your, your jumps. I was going to say, don't, uh... Don't jump kick? No, don't... just be careful with your jump kicks. Nah, just don't <laughs> jump kick. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. Oh, I got flattened by the the ball. The heavy ass ball came down on me. Wow, ball, we are lagging balls. this NES. <laughs> yeah, uh, we really should get that Raspberry Pi working. Yeah, so so uh, so that way we can download more RAM. Yeah. Uh, to finish the thought from yesterday, yes, people are. Uh, I think people are so salty because this deck was extremely prevalent. It didn't even have a crazy high win rate. Uh, I looked at its global stats and it had like a sixty percent win rate. I think they were just mad because you see it everywhere. Well, the reason you see it everywhere is because... It works. The game has gotten so... Well, no, it's because it's affordable. The game has gotten so expensive that to to craft a re, you know, to craft a deck is... You know, this is the one that only costs an extra 4,000 dust to craft on top of what you... You know, the, the 50... This costs maybe a dollar, where well, like every other deck costs it like... It this is the one that you could afford to do if you're doing one deck every expansion free-to-play. You know... Yeah. Uh, whereas none of the other competitive decks you would, because it's not even at the top of the ladder. I looked as far as um, as far as win rate. There are higher win rate decks out there. People are just mad that they're seeing it all the time, and it's a high RNG deck. And I agree. I'm sick of playing this deck. But unfortunately, you used to be able to do about three decks a, an expansion on free to play. And but now it's was, gotten so fast. Now, now the gate. Well, yeah. Now they release so many cards that you can only craft one because you know your chances of getting the you, you know how it works the chances of getting the cards you need to craft the deck that is competitive goes down as the number of cards in the expansion that get released every year increase yes. i shouldn't even say expansion because it's really how many cards per year get released uh and the rewards get less and less rewarding they give well they don't even give you fewer and fewer things it really is just more cards come out they they used to release about 200 cards a year and now they release about 500 cards a year and so not only are you less likely to you're less likely to have opened those cards in the packs you've gotten that means you have to craft a lot more of them yeah so yeah that's all it and and so it's just so many people are just like just open up your wallet and buy a new deck yeah just give them give them just more give money. blizzard more money and i i didn't say it in the sure forums because better. i didn't want to make it a political thing but jamie says we're not spending money on blizzard properties until they get their their They're bad politics together. in order yeah until they stop being pro oppression of chinese people and i'm like yeah i i can't, can't i can't fault I, I i can't disagree with jamie if, if jamie's like yeah i don't want you spending money because this company is doing evil things around the world then no uh, yeah especially because it's not money. it's not a luxury it's it's a video game so it's, I, I mean i was ex i was anticipating having to uninstall this game anyway because Again, they increase. They made the game more expensive recently. They're they're doing half expansions now. They're they're halfway between expansions now. They're adding like 40, 50 cards. So in the same set, out of the same packs. So you now have to go and buy a bunch of other cards. Hope to open them, but more likely craft the ones that are you're going to need to stay competitive. It's just it's a it's such a bad grind. It's such a bad model. I'd rather just like why can't they just pay you fifty dollars a year? The, the dev cost this game costs them probably a couple dollars a player per year like their entire cost you know yeah. what i mean like card games are cheap to make online card games are even cheaper because they don't have to print cardboard actually you think about the profit that wizards of the coast was making in magic the gathering and early on it probably wasn't very much because those that card stock must be expensive to print the more i thought um, about it because, yeah because it's very specific card stock because even the freaking Chinese fakers can't get it right. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that. I'm like, wow, they spend a they they print high quality cards. It's not cheap, cheap stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I, I I go back and say, oh, they they did spend a lot early but on. But also, like, they probably got it figured out and dialed in at this al point. Though. Also, like over the years, they've cheaped out on like the foiling process and like the yeah. extra stuff. It's like. Really, Blizzard? Why did you yeah, do that? Yeah, and they're doing things like directly selling cards for way more money now. Like, 50, like John, I, I, have, I, I don't get to talk to you about Magic beyond just the, you know, like, oh, Merit, you keep having bad habits with the spending of the amount of Magic cards because you find it fun to sell them for some reason. Yeah. Um, we, I heard someone describe you as a, uh, as a scalper, by the way. A scalper? Yeah. 
people what? people that buy that buy boxes to to flip are scalpers. That's not. I know. <laughs> I know that's not how scalping thing. works. It's like those you can still buy a box. They don't they don't limit the number of boxes they print. Like they they'll happily sell you a full fucking pallet if you want it. Yeah. Like but, it's just a person it's a speculation, not a scalping. It's it's basically gambling. Yeah, you're basically gambling. And and my point was that your gambling is always the house is always gonna win. The house just isn't an individual entity, it's a it's an ecosystem. Yeah. Based on a based on a third market. Yeah, based off of a market of people that are willing to do this job for less than you. So it's a race to the bottom because there's always some teenager that's willing to make a dollar an hour flipping the cards because it's fun for him, and that's what that since that's what since that person is willing to sell those cards for that little, that's what the cards are going to be worth at the most. They might that even be worth less because volume. Yeah, it depends, but realistically. You're not going to make money doing it, was ultimately my point. You're not going to make real money doing it. The real money is in the long-term speculation of, I think this... I, I'm I going think to... this set is going to be worth X amount yes. in later years. Yes. And its value is going to go up per box and unopened. Which it does. Most sets do that. Yeah. Some more than others, that's the thing. Yes. And it's just which one is going to be that one that's going to be the... This one appreciates oh, the best. I don't think I'm going to make a mirth. I think you will. Hang on. I was gonna say you can just back off and No, I'm gonna be special. I'm gonna do my special. But uh, uh or I'm gonna hit the sign. But that's not how neon signs work! Yeah. Weird. Pressing right and left is working now, but sometimes it doesn't. It's inconsistent. I don't know. But anyway, I was I was what was I gonna say? Um Yeah, so like the biggest example of wizards like cheaping out, especially as Hey, they finally built better robots. Is um is there foiling processes like because you remember like Magic the Gathering foils like in seven? They used edition. to look cool. Uh, yeah, they that, used to look cool when they did that big rework uh, for the uh, Mirrodin. When they yeah they yeah that first rework they think when they changed around the card style. Yeah, that guard, cards look good when they did that. Hey, you got a one up. Cool. We're not. We might not have to use a continue on this level and we'll pad, the, pad the series out a little more. But like now, oh, sorry, ugh, it's it's so cheap. Because the moment you pull a foil card out of a pack, it curls. Oh, no. And it's like, the only way to have it Boss not do that... It's oh, the other one! Yeah, it's the other one! I was gonna look up the names, but I forgot. Damn it, okay, um... <laughs> He's eating my head! Oh, it's got a... He's got a shield. <laughs> He's smart! Even though, in the game, or in the movie, he was an extremely really dumb, dumb character, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, the, the only way to prevent it from curling is literally to put it in, like, three cases. Oh. Like, three sleeves. Oh, that is lame. And that's basically just to remove all humidity from that that's around the card. And that's saying something, considering that we have we live in an, an environment that has zero fucking humidity, and the yeah. card still curls. Oh, that that is extremely unfortunate. Especially because, again... They've gotten their they've gotten their printing processes down, right? They're not a poor company. This is Hasbro owning Wizards of the Coast, multi-billion dollar company. They can afford to do it right, and they're making a ton of money. Yeah. So it is kind of silly now. I could see it back, you know, when they were only selling millions, so the when development there were like cost a of the game was for the company. Yeah, when the development of the game was a large portion of the cost of the game, but now like I'm pretty sure more people play Magic the Gathering than ever. I don't Probably. think they ever had a drop off. Like, I would have thought, like, the heyday was in the early 2000s, but no, it's only gotten more and more popular over time. Uh, I say that's because it was my heyday in the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they, I, I don't think there's an excuse. It's, it's probably just corporate greed, unfortunately. I am. But, yeah, initially, when you would pay $3 for a pack of cards, it probably cost a buck fifty to print that pack, and the card store probably only made a buck off of that pack. Oh so. yeah, th there are people that, that talk about how much it cost, like it costs to buy and sell packs and stuff like that. And it's yeah, you're only the making margins like, are not high. You're God, God damn, damn it, it, Steam! Steam. <laughs> Interrupting our cutscene and shit. Yeah, you're only making like fifty cents a pack. A card store makes most of its money off of like the stupid shit that they sell oh, in the. All right, we're going to do a UFO, Calabunga. We have to hurry in order to stop the shredder and save man. Next time on the branch? Sure, next time on the branch. Mm -hmm.